Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie The Guilty. This movie, The Guilty, stars Jake Gyllenhaal. This movie is directed by Antoine Fuqua, and the movie is written by Nick Pazzolano. Right there, that's a triple threat right there. Love Jake Gyllenhaal, Antoine Fuqua is a great director, and Nick Pazzolano created True Detective. He's a powerhouse right here. And the movie takes place all in a police dispatch, and it's about a police officer taking all these phone calls, dealing with these cases, but there's a specific case of a lady on the phone with him saying she got kidnapped by her husband, and he basically says, stay on the phone with her and try to get her help. He's going through other calls. He's also got his own personal demons he's dealing with, but that's the gist of the story. The Guilty. Uh, apparently, this is a remake, and I don't know what the remake is. I don't know the original film. I think it's a foreign film. Which is cool. I, I definitely would check it out. But just seeing this movie as just this movie, this movie was great. I really enjoyed The Guilty. I thought it was gripping. It had a couple twists that I did not see coming. The movie gets super crazy, super unsettling at times. And Jake Gyllenhaal is it's Jake Gyllenhaal, man. This guy kills it every time. He is excellent in this movie he gives a terrific performance and there's like great voice actors throughout the movie especially one with, with bill burr there's a one scene with bill burr super funny scene but the writing for this movie nick pazzolano did a great job and i think antoine fugo's direction is really good the way the shots are laid out the way the movie feels very claustrophobic and just you could feel the isolation with Jake Gyllenhaal him in this dispatch you could feel the anxiety he is going through in this film when he's on the phone with this woman who is being kidnapped and stuff yeah <laughs> and also when Jake Gyllenhaal is talking about his other personal issues and what he is going through you understand this character and the character has actually a terrific character arc at the end of the film it's really good the movie was solid. It was like 95 minutes long, and it flew by fucking crazy, this movie. There was some unsettling shit in this film, and it's all through, through uh, like, sound, which I love. Like, there's no violence in the movie. It's just you hear all the unsettling stuff Jake Jellin hears on the phone, and it's just... It's a brilliant way to do tension, and it's a brilliant way to create... A lot of anxiety watching the film and just it's really well done i love movies about like people on phones for some reason they, they're just done very well like phone booth and like buried like great films and this is just another one to add to that this is just a very good film a very good psychological thriller jay chalano's great Anton fugo's direction's great nick puzzleano's writing is really good it's got great twists it's got great tension just, i think it just does everything perfectly right actually uh, for what this movie is, it's really solid. I recommend it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give The Guilty a 8.3 out of 10. Really good, really solid. Check it out. So in the comments, in the comments section below, please tell me what are your thoughts and opinions on The Guilty. And give me your favorite isolation film. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I guess isolation film, Rare Window is one of my favorites, so... Give me your thoughts and opinions. <laughs> Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.